Today's medical-centric topic is trypanosomiasis, human African sleeping sickness. Human African trypanosomiasis, also known as sleeping sickness, is a parasitic disease caused by the trypasoma parasite and transmitted through the bite of an infected tsetse fly. This disease is endemic to sub-Saharan Africa and, if left untreated, can be fatal. Let's explore the causes, symptoms, and treatments of this serious illness. 1. Causes and Transmission Sleeping sickness is caused by two types of tryptosana parasites, Tryposoma brucei gambinines and Tryposoma brucei rhodicinese. The disease is spread by the bite of infected tsetse flies, which thrive in rural parts of sub-Saharan Africa. Humans and animals can be hosts, with the parasites entering the bloodstream and eventually evading the central nervous system. 2. Symptoms of Sleeping Sickness There are two stages of sleeping sickness, each with distinct symptoms. Early stage, hemolymphatic stage. The early symptoms include fever, headaches, joint pain, and swollen lymph nodes. These signs can be mild or are often mistaken for other illnesses. Late stage, neurological stage. As the parasite enters the central nervous system, more severe symptoms appear, such as confusion, poor coordination, personality changes, and severe sleep disturbances, which give the disease its name. Without treatment, this stage is fatal. 3. Types of Sleeping Sickness There are two forms of the disease based on the type of parasite. Gambianese form Found in Western and Central Africa, this form progresses slowly, with symptoms sometimes appearing months or years after infection. Rhodocene form Found in Eastern and Southern Africa, this form progresses more quickly, with symptoms appearing within weeks. 4. Diagnosis and Treatment Early diagnosis of sleeping sickness is crucial. Doctors diagnose the disease by examining blood samples or, in later stages, cerebrospinal fluid. Treatment depends on the stage of the disease. Early stage. Medications like pentamidine or suramin are used to treat the early stages of the illness. Late stage. Once the central nervous system is affected, more aggressive treatments such as elfluorethnine or nephuromatox are necessary. These medications can have serious side effects, but they are effective when administered early. 5. Prevention and Control Efforts to prevent sleeping sickness include controlling TC fly populations, wearing protective clothing, and using insect repellents. In addition, active screening of populations at risk helps catch cases early and prevent further spread of the disease. Human African tryptosomiasis is a life-threatening disease that requires early detection and treatment. While efforts to control the disease have made progress, awareness and prevention remain key to reducing its impact in affected regions. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.